Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my let's play of your of Civilization 5 Gods and Kings as the Austrian Empire. Now, this is actually going to be the first episode of a recording session and my mouse and my other computer's died on me so I can't start the timer just as yet. But I want to finish what I'm saying so I don't break the swing of it. Uh, now this is going to be the first episode where I'm going to make sure I save it after every episode uh, so that you'll be able to play along. Uh, when that part of the site is up, but there is actually now a site with a forum and everything. Of it. If you want to come on, you can, I guess, chat to each other and myself in a way that's a bit easier than the comments, because sometimes replying between them can get a bit off, and you can't really have a three-way conversation in replies to comments, because when you guys reply to something that somebody else said, I never get told about it, which I don't like, but I'd like to know what anything happened in my comments. Uh, but the address should hopefully be on the screen. Uh, now, I've had a bit of a problem with the annotations, but... It is uh, www.house, uh, then the minus sign, I forget what it's actually called, uh, doom.tk. Um, as far as I know, signing up on the forum should be almost automatic. I'll deal with any spam bots or anything that goes on. So hopefully you can get on there and get started chatting every straight away. Now, I'm going to pause, make sure the timer gets started, and I'll start the episode. And I now have the timer going. Uh, one other thing I did want to mention is uh, a friend of mine from the band that I put up a video of up a bit ago has also just put up a video, he's you know, a drummer in that band, but he's it's also a annoyingly good guitarist. Uh, he's put up a video where he's playing a, in one playthrough, one recording session, he's done a hundred different guitarists all in one. That's in my favourites, if you'd like to go and check it out, uh, feel free to drop a comment saying that you've came from this channel. Now, also, just before I started, I got a comment, uh, let me know if one of my cities can access coal. I, I don't think it was a Vatican. I, I may actually be right, I, I can't even remember which one it is now. Oh, this is brilliant. This is the best way to start off an episode every single time, isn't it? Uh, it kind of has to have been that the Vatican reached it. I reached that in the last episode, so I, when I read the comment, I thought it was one that... I hadn't noticed, but no, no, it looks like it's a Vatican and we got that on the way already, so that's fine, but I was really happy of the comment because, well, just as I'm sat here, like, perfect timing, I was just loading the game up and I saw our new message, brilliant timing, uh, but let's continue on for now, that call's on the way, choose production, uh, you've just finished me a theatre, and what city is, it's up here, why did you not zoom in on it, I was confused to hell. A uh, building, uh, hmm. It's going to take you a while to build almost anything, so just build me a circus, keep working on the happiness, and then we can work on buying out some more cities. Uh, is that really it? Next turn? Okay, let's go. I'm glad we've still got the score up. I wish research would stay up, scientific theory, public school. Yeah, seems like an okay thing to be researching. Wouldn't mind that expanding out to the marble. Come on, just so we can work it. Bismarck has declared war on Dido. Oh, that's right! We're at war! How did I forget this? We're at war! And annoyingly, it's over like the grap of the map. Oh, deals with Alexander has ended. That severely hurt us when it's come to happiness. Uh, well, we provided him sugar, it has ended. Where open borders, open borders the other way. Uh, he provide us dyes, and he, oh, we provided him wine. So why has that dropped so much? We've only lost one resource. Your influence with is almost completely decayed to the point where we are no longer friends. When they have coal. to free and that's annoyingly just out of reach of both of them uh, they might not be another bad target to aim for next unfortunately it does mean that all of our uh, possible targets to buy out don't have access to any luxury resources that are going to make us happy anymore nice to see that you've declared war on her uh, let's get the production out of the way and then we'll start going for trading again the coffee house is nice, and it looks like you've got basically everything else built up, so 
Yeah, let's work on the production. Brussels. Oh no, that's just movement. Yeah, we repelled the attack. We were sending you to take a look, but let's deal with the trade first. Before I go into actual movement. No, but full thing, please. Yes, diplomatic overview. Now you have sugar. Spare, so uh, we were receiving sugar from you. Ramses has a good bit of dyes. Trade. Dyes. Luxury resources. I could offer you nothing. Goodbye, then. Oh, uh, let's see. Germany. No, he only has one of everything. You're kidding me. We could hopefully get the sugar back, but... We could really do with getting that on our own terms and not on them. I'm sorry, what? That is a perfectly fair deal! And you don't have wine, otherwise I wouldn't have had it there as an offer, I don't believe. Well, that does mean we have the option of buying a place with sugar. Is there anywhere with sugar? That's something we wasn't previously looking for. Pearls, gold. Pearls, silk. Pearls, horses, gold. Incense. I think we're trading for incense at the moment, so that wouldn't be a bad one. And a second porcelain. You know, something else that other people aren't going to be able to trade. Tia's not looking bad, and we're... Where is it, though? I think it's in the middle of... <laughs> that, that wasn't a bad guess. Geneva has furs. I don't think we have fur. No. And we have incense, apparently. Ah, oh, we do. It's in our capital. How the hell didn't I remember that, eh? Uh, Geneva would give us fur. And yet again, again, work on sort of like isolating that there. Also, uh, we have lots of faith and I'm going to be purchasing some things. And I'm going to remember that when we purchase our duh, 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 units, not great merchant. Wait, you can purchase great merchants with faith? Honestly, a merchant with faith. Great profit missionary. Oh, they've gone up. Uh, but when we purchase them from here, they get an extra spread, I believe. And I've been messing up and I've been buying them, you know, maybe saving myself one or two turns in walking and losing out like, oh, they have two. So it's like 50% better. Valetti. Oh, no, wait, Valetti. That was it. The one with the coal. So we could buy this one. It would deny the Greeks some gold. If we got Kuala Lumpur as well, that's a good staging post for over here. Uh, if we took this, then maybe taking Carthage, uh, unlocking ourselves some dyes. And the marble. That's, and that's still sort of like connected to our empire then. Well, we definitely want to start swimming off that way and get a look a bit better at what's going on around here. I don't want to travel all the way because we want to maybe get a little bit of a you know, run back if it, things looked bad. Um, you also needed to move, didn't you, Caravel? Well, you can't go half as far as I thought you could. At least that's them on the way and we're training up some more, which is also good. Uh, you are... Uh, the wrong side of the world. See if you can't... I think you've got to go coastal, so... You, yeah, have a go at that. I'll probably stop you before you get anywhere near over there, but that should be fine for now. Ooh, one of our cities grew. See, but look, it's still only level 5. And level 7, 10, 16, whereas the ones we're buying are all like 13, 15, 13... Brussels is free, but it's a bit war damaged. Yeah, we've got to give it that. It's, 
it, it didn't have the best of times, did it? I'm not quite sure where I'm sending that missionary that I bought, but I know I want one. Oh, we were having a go at the Germans down here with our missionaries, weren't we? We got three of them converted to Doomish. And uh, from reading the comments and everything, it seems it's more the number of cities converted, not necessarily the size of them. So, knocking off some of these smaller ones would probably do a better job than focusing on the larger ones as I have been doing. But I wouldn't mind getting Corinth and Athens. Sort of uh, fight back against the Islamic faith up here. Let's see, a group of citizens from Sudan. They want money, is it? Oh no, they want Doomis. And oh, they also want a great scientist. Well, let's find a map, just out of curiosity. Yeah, you don't really give me anything, do you? And Ruska, we are losing influence. So I've grown, so let's go for the next turn. Clearing forest for Lisbon. Oh, they're all going for Dido now. This could be good for us. We might be able to sneak off a victory, you know, where they maybe get to Carthage, knock it down by a certain amount, and then, well, with two bombardments and a melee attack from the ship, we might be able to take it. But I don't know if we'll get anything else trained up in time to go and help. Okay, take me to a unit and then move me to another one. Whatever floats your boat, game. Now, definitely we're getting to the point where we should be seeing them get their guys. And I don't want to get too close. Evil missionary. You wouldn't have range, would you? Actually, yeah, you should. But you won't have movement. That was rather dumb. I've also just realised I haven't done a sound check yet for this episode, but with two minutes to go and it being the first one of a recording session, I'm not that bothered, if I'm completely honest, because, well, if it's wrong... It's wrong. Oh, wait, is that in German territory? Damn it is, we could have got copper for ourselves as well. You know, buying this one out and then sort of like rush over to the copper, block them, and it'd also block them from getting the coal, but... Oh no, we wouldn't have been able to buy out that far, would we? No. Would have been to there. Well, you desperately need to come on and rush over to help the guy that we've already sent over here, just in case somebody does come to try and get him. Uh, influence with Rio de Janeiro has decayed to the point where we're all no longer friends. Oh, nobody loves us. Um, I thought it was moving me because I clicked on this, but I had my mouse out to the side, didn't I? So what's that? Carthage discovered that Dido is constructing the leading tower of Pisa. That's more advanced than what I thought she'd be doing. In the meantime, you make your way over to... Ah, we've already got... Yes, Frankfurt, I'm not having that. You will be doomish. Come on, don't tell me you can't get there. You can. Come on, work it out. It's a straight freaking line almost. It turns... I prefer that as eight turns. Don't think you have to worry about any of Dido's uh, fleet going that way through, so it doesn't really have to be escorted. You traveled far in one day. And let's go for the next turn. Now, we'll probably end up annoying Jerusalem, but someone's got in the way. And oh wait, perfect gap, no one's territory. I don't think there's going to be any other real city-states to annoy along the way. No, it's all Ramses territory, so we're fine there. Let's actually get for the next turn, then. Oh, I would prefer them not to have made peace, but not really affecting the situation at all. Yeah. I doubt Russia's bothered building a navy.
Uh, losing grip on Malaya. Man, yeah, Man Malaya. Oh, come on, I clicked it. You're supposed to. Oh, it's up here. That's why it's not taking me to it. Well. Well, that is the end of this tur uh, this episode. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll say goodbye. Goodbye.